We're back to give you the legal edge. WNBA star Brittany Griner made her first court appearance today since the Biden administration revealed it was prepared to engage in a prisoner swap to free Griner and other U.S. citizen in Russian custody, Paul Whelan. Griner was detained in February in a Moscow airport and later charged with drug smuggling. If convicted, she faces up to 10 years in prison. During the hearing today, Griner's defense team continued to argue that a state-appointed forensic expert made technical and procedural errors when examining the cannabis-infused vape cartridges found in her luggage when she arrived in Russia. Earlier in the trial, Griner pleaded guilty to carrying cartridges in her bag, but maintained that she had packed them by accident and did not intend to violate the Russian law, which states that cannabis is prohibited for both medical and recreational purposes. She's still focused and she's still nervous and she still knows that the end is, is near. And of course she heard the news, so she, she's hoping that sometime she could be coming home. And we hope too. The deputy chief of mission at the U.S. Embassy in Moscow, who was present in the courtroom, said the U.S. will continue to do everything it can to bring American citizens home. Week two of Alex Jones's defamation trial continued, and today there was emotional testimony from the father of six-year-old Jesse Lewis, who was killed in the Sandy Hook school shootings. Jones and his internet show Infowars are being sued for consistently calling the 2012 massacre a hoax, and he spoke about the added pain and torture those claims had on families of the victims. Why, why would they, in their minds, believe the state that this tragedy and this murder didn't happen and that Jesse wasn't killed by people accused, myself and the others, of being crisis actors, fake, phony. It took me a long time to really understand the dynamics of it, and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't explain that. I couldn't give the people an answer. The parents won a default judgment against Jones several months ago, and the jury hearing testimony in court today will decide how much in damages Jones will have to pay. His organization has already filed for bankruptcy, but he is still doing his show online. Coming up, a new health 